setup that I'm in right now, you would be cracking up. So I record in my university's sound booth, and I found that they have a pop filter. I think this is a pop filter in the booth for you, but I don't have a nice mic, so I've kind of jerry-rigged my um, headphone mic with the pop filter. So please let me know if you guys like how it sounds. And also, I've been playing around with different lighting things. So let me know how you guys like the lighting. I really want to try to make the coziest space possible in my videos. So let me know how I'm doing at that. Um, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really want to help you through burnout. And that's why I'm making this video. I understand how difficult burnout can be, and I just kind of want to give a space to try to overcome that just for a little bit. I don't expect this video to be super long. I hope it's just a quick little rest stop for you before you get back to your day. Um, so the way this video is going to go is I plan on talking a little bit about my experience with burnout, and then I'd like to um, give some affirmations for other people struggling with burnout, things that help me to remember. I have some notes down to the side here, so um, forgive me for looking off a little bit. I hope you don't mind. Um, it's just so I can remember everything that I want to say to you guys. I um, brought some triggers here as well that I'll be doing throughout the video. I have just a small little collection. Let me know if you guys like any of them in particular, because I want to bring back ones that are especially good. And yeah, I'm going to try to be as honest and open as I can with you guys here, because that's what I would want from anyone as well. So um, let's get started with the discussion. First trigger, I'm gonna kind of just wipe the camera a bit with this blue cloth. So, my experience with burnout started at a young age. I can remember being in about third grade and having a book report that was due, and I just felt so overwhelmed and so exhausted, and I remember crying and crying my parents about how stressed I was, and um, I think about that experience a lot because I think it kind of shows that I think I was just kind of destined to be an overthinker and um, a bit of a warrior, but um, yeah, I've struggled with feeling stressed and burnt out for a very long time. It definitely kind of got worse through high school for me, as the amount that I had to do increased, so did my stress with it. I, um, I struggled a lot with, um, taking time to myself, and, um, it was really a not fun time for me. Maybe I can make some nice cloth sounds. So, I got a little bit better with the whole work-life balance thing around my senior year of high school. I started to realize that there's more to life other than just working myself into the ground. And, um, but now, as an undergraduate, it can be hard to keep an effective work-life balance. So. I'm an undergraduate neuroscience student, which can be a lot sometimes. I, I find it fascinating, but I also find it exhausting. And so if you struggle with burnout, I get it. I do too, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so I deal with burnout every day when I'm here. It feels awful, and I'm 
sorry. They, this is what's happened. I, I get it, and it's awful. And I hope that we can get through it, both of us. Yeah, just that I, I get what you're going through over here. Sorry, I always feel awkward when I give affirmations. I think, I think that um, it can be hard for me because it involves a little bit of vulnerability to, to give an affirmation. So forgive any awkwardness and know that I mean what I'm saying. There's something that I always tell myself, and that's that life is long. against the usual life is short notion because frankly I don't think life is short at least if we're lucky um maybe this is just the fruit from the perspective of a dumb young kid but I don't think life is as short as people make it but what I will concede is that today is quite short it can feel like you didn't do everything you want to do in a day, but that's okay, because today is short, you shouldn't expect to do everything in one day, but when you remember that life is long, you realize you have time to do what you want to do, and that opens up the possibilities and takes off a lot of the weight from your shoulders. You guys really should see this setup. I have a lava lamp to my right, a uh, like a colored light I bought on Amazon behind the camera. This space is like five feet by five feet. I'm in a box. <laughs> it's pretty funny. remember Rome wasn't built in a day. It took a lot of days to, to build Rome. And it also, it also took a lot of people. Success is not a one-man show. So it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to ask for help. In fact, it's quite admirable to ask for help. Hopefully, you can take a little weight off your shoulders by asking for a little bit of help. Another thing that I like to tell myself is that life is not a race. Life isn't a race. Or if it is, it's at least not a fair one. You can't paint life as an even start line, an even finish line for everyone. Because we all have such unique paths that we go on, so many different side routes, so many different obstacles, and so many different little victories that to compare the course of one person to another I think would be really unfair to both people if you're trying to judge them in their race. So life if you try to illustrate it as a race or a competition, you have to do it in a very convoluted and um, unfair way to everyone. So I suggest dropping the notion of life as a race. The last affirmation that I want to say is you are worth infinitely more than your work. Your success is not your worth. I don't even know if you can say it's part of it. So much goes into success that we don't have control over. I don't grade my papers. I don't watch my videos. So I can't control whether I get an A or whether people watch my content. 
watching this video, it means the world to me. Um, subscribe if you would like to see more, and please leave any comments that you have. Um, I love to engage with anyone that's watching, and um, please also give suggestions. I am in a huge learning stage in learning how to do ASMR right now, so if you have any suggestions at all, please leave them. My feelings won't be hurt. So with that, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope that I can see you again soon. Okay, stay safe, and stay happy, and I'll see you soon.